I'm pretty sure the fluorescent lights in my shop are from the Stone Age. They work, they're just terribly inefficient. They flicker on camera, and every now and then I need to replace a bulb, and there's still some dark areas in the shop. I figured it was time for an upgrade. I picked up a box of 10 new LED shop lights, and I decided to bring my lighting game into the 21st century. These new fixtures will give off 4100 lumens, while only drawing 40 watts of electricity each. The color temperature will be equivalent to outside daylight. And as for replacing bulbs, I'll never have to do that again. Each LED light has a lifetime of 50,000 hours. That's roughly 12 years of 12 hours a day use. Or you could just basically leave the lights on for six years straight. That's amazing. So I picked up some other stuff that I guessed I might need to do this conversion, and then I was ready to begin. Now to start things out, I lowered down my gantry arm and I fired up the little work light. This thing really proved to be tremendously helpful during this whole project. Then I could march back to my breaker box and turn off the circuit that powers all of my basement lights. With that turned off, I could fumble through the darkness and get situated under the first junction box location. See, all my existing lights were hardwired into a couple of junction boxes. These new lights have a standard two-prong plug. Now, I could snip that off and then hardwire them as well, but it's just as easy to convert the existing junction box to an outlet and then plug them directly in. So I popped off the old one and put in place a new one-gang outlet box. I fed the wire in, hooked up an outlet, and then buttoned everything back up. Then it came time to remove these old dust catchers. I popped off the insulated cable staples, unhooked them, fought the urge to play with the bulbs like a lightsaber, and then set them off to the side. The new ones went up super easy. They're much lighter than the old ones, and I could reuse the chains that I already had in position. Then it was just a matter of plugging it in and securing the cord up and out of the way. Now in a couple cases, I wanted to change the location of where they were hanging. So it was in these spots that I took down the existing chains and then moved them a bit to a neighboring joist. I measured to make sure that they wouldn't interfere with my gantry and then screwed them into their new spots. Then just like before, I hung it up on the hooks. But instead of plugging it into an outlet, all I had to do was stretch the cord to the previous fixture and then plug it in there. Now I had purchased a couple boxes of chains so that I could add some new lighting locations in the shop, but I ended up getting way more than I needed. So I'll probably just use all the extra to chain my neighbor's bike to his car, or something like that. But for the lights, I just cut two equal lengths and then screwed them into position on the joists. And then I managed to get some help from shop buddy number one, because the Wi-Fi router was on the same circuit as the shop lights and had to be powered off as well. Or was it? So you just like lift it up? That's really it. It's got little hooks on it. Oh, well that's what all I'm... Okay. This wire is a little dangerous for me. Well, it's not plugged in. Careful, it's really dusty. Uh, I, I might see. Okay, go set it, um, set it right on over there on the bench. And just to keep the lights from accidentally coming unhooked, we squeeze the S-hooks closed with a set of pliers. Good man. Okay, now we can put the chain on. But it was a great time working with my boy. I had a chance to teach him how breakers work, what a circuit is, installing an outlet, and how to steal power from your neighbor. Good. One more. Okay, this one's going to be a little easier. Good job. Great. Okay. Back in the robot room with the CNC, I added a couple more lights, and I had to convert another junction box to an outlet just like I had done earlier, and then I could mount the fixtures. Finally, I could flip the breaker back on and give it a test. Well, nothing exploded. That's good. All right, well, it's moment of truth. You ready to hit the switch? I'm ready. 
Uh, should we do a countdown? Yeah. Alright, three, two, two one. one. Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> oh my <God>. Wow! <laughs> we did it! Alright! Are the ones in the back on? Yeah. Nice. A lot of the materials didn't even get used, so I could return those to the store and then go blow that money on a bunch of candy and fireworks. Now as a comparison, here's what the shop looked like before with the fluorescent lights. And now, here it is with the new LEDs. It's so much brighter, and the yellow color is gone. The back corner of my shop used to be a bit dingy, but now with the new lights, it's very well lit and offers great visibility. All in all, these lights sure made a world of difference in the shop, and they were super simple to install. And it's comforting to know that they're zero maintenance and that their lifetime is way longer than I'll ever need. Plus, the energy savings is a good thing too. Now if you'd like to add these lights to your shop or your work area, I'll have a link to the exact same lights that I bought in the video description below. I'd say the only downside to having things as well lit as this is that now I can even see more mistakes in my projects. Well, that about wraps up this shop upgrade. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Where in the world is my drill? Aha! Ow! Oh, crap. <laughs> it's a flathead! Ugh. That hit me right in the face. Ow.